In this video, I will be demonstrating how to create font in Inkscape and edit it so you can cut it out on the plaza table without the center of your letters or numbers falling out. First, you're going to want to go to Inkscape. After Inkscape has opened, you're going to want to go here to the left side to your font tab. Click on your font. We're going to type in plasma all capitals. Capitals cut out the best. Take, make it bold. I'm going to take my uh, magnifying glass, zoom in. Now you can see it's pretty basic font. Next, what you're going to do is go to your selection tool and select it so the arrows are pointing out. Then you go to path, object to path, now what that has done is broken up each one of these letters into their own separate one and traced the outside line. You can see that by going to edit nodes and clicking on each letter. With the edit nodes you can also modify the letters to customize them to your needs which is pretty cool. After you've done that you can simply go to file, save as, we're going to type this, save this as plasma reg font for regular font. Save it as a DXF. Hit save. We're going to do LW polyline. Next, we're going to go to ViaCAD. Open a ViaCAD. We're going to create a new uh, page. Then you go to File, Import, DXF. Next, you will look for your file, uh, file. Plasma regular font. Open it. Now you can see. The problem with this is when it cuts out this A, it's going to cut out the outside of the A and then cut the inside of the A out and then the whole A will be missing. What we're going to do is connect lines here to keep the center of the A in. I'm going to zoom out, highlight it, and drag it to my X and Y axis. Next what I'm going to want to do is go to f Edit, Group, Ungroup, this is going to break up all the lines into their own separate lines. Yes. Now when we click, we can see each one of these lines is broke up. The best way to do it is simply click on your line tool. Go over a little bit. I like to do this intersection. I'm going to add a line here. Add a line here. Delete. Then we're going to add lines in here. Now when it cuts out this A, it will keep the inside. We're going to repeat the process for this side. So line, draw a line, draw another line. Now when you hit the intersection, it'll say intersect right there. So that's when you know you're connecting the lines. Then selection tool, click, drag, highlight, backspace to delete. Now we're going to do single line, single line, single line, and single line. Now all that's left really is the P. Do the same here. Take and draw a line. Take and draw another line. Then we're going to take and drag and delete. They connect these lines. Now say if this was an O, 
How would you connect a line that is round? Simply by doing this. Take your line, drag it, drop it. Take your next line, drag it and drop it. Then you're going to go here and delete that and then delete this. Now on the left hand side there is a two point conic. We're going to click on this to create a three point conic. The three point conic you can click at your endpoint, then click at your next endpoint, and you can create any curve you want. So we're going to make this a little bit of a curve. That was probably too much to undo. That looks good right there. And then we're going to do the same for here. Perfect. That looks really good. And I'm just going to do this real quick. This is only if you have A's or zeros or any other round letter lines. Now the scale of this, if you look on this right hand corner, it's going to give us our scale of our X and Y. Our X is our width and our Y is our height. So if we go over here to the endpoint on our X, we'll see it's 40. 6.842 inches roughly long and on our Y it is roughly 8 inches tall. Now let's see we want this only to be 9 inches long. I'm going to click on our line tool, go to the edge of our P, click, make a line, then go up to length and type in 9 inches and then hit enter. Now this is a 9 inch line and it's to scale. Next you're going to go to selection tool, take and click on the bottom right, click and drag so it highlights plasma. Now we're going to go over here to where it says scale. You may have to hold this down and then select scale like this. Then click on the left side of your endpoint of your 9 inch line, then go to the very end of your text to the end endpoint and the third click is going to be the end of your 9 inch line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just take and drag this back down and align it. Now when I go to the end point it is 9 inches long. You can see in the top right hand corner. I'm going to take and delete this line now a very important part we still need to do is group everything back together. This will prevent any complications in SheCam. So we're going to highlight it, bottom right click, then drag to highlight it, edit, group, then we're going to group it. Now it's ready to be exported. If you just wanted to cut this out as a nameplate, I would recommend getting the square and drawing a square around it. Then you can go to File, Export, DXF, OK, and save it as Plasma Regular Font. I like to save everything I have into my desktop. Now that is ready to be opened up in SheCam and edited. Now you can also bring, import other images you may have or export this and add it to other images. Thank you for watching.